Since she stepped into her royal role last year, there have been rumors that the Duchess of Sussex can be difficult to work with. But her friends have rallied in her defense, and insist that Meghan is certainly no diva. They told this to Gail King, one of the Duchess' close friends and a guest at her recent baby shower in New York City. She is one of the Americans in Markle's inner circle, with another being Oprah Winfrey, who was not only a guest at the royal wedding but is also developing a special with Prince Harry for Apple. King was able to get Markle's confidants to speak about their friend's new life, and her baby joy. Markle's friends say she is being misrepresented and doesn't deserve the negative headlines. They have also revealed that she has longed to be a mother for years. Meghan and I have talked about her being a mother for over a decade. She's always wanted to be a mom, said actress Janina Gavankar. She added the birth of baby Archie last week was hugely significant due to his historic place in the royal family. There are still a lot of us who didn't even grow up with dolls that looked like us, said Miss Gavankar. So, to have the royal family bring a child of color into the world, it's pretty awesome. King also interviewed Daniel Martin, Meghan's long-term friend and makeup artist, who told her, their child is going to represent what the world is now. It's the dawn of a new generation. He added that Prince Harry is so good with kids and said of the Sussexes, I feel like this is their time to really share who they are and what they stand for. He added, when they were doing the family portrait after the wedding with everybody, he was on the floor playing with the kids. And that's when I knew he was going to be the coolest dad. The 37-year-old Duchess was surrounded by her American friends including Mr. Martin at her lavish baby shower in New York. They are highly protective of her in extracts of the interview released by the CBS, firmly rebutting widespread reports that she is difficult with palace staff. What's so frustrating is that you hear these stories and there's no truth to them, said Mr. Martin. It's not the same person. In the years I've known her, the years I've worked with her, she's never had a diva fit, never. He became tearful as he added, I think because I know her so well, and I know she doesn't deserve all this negative press. Miss Ganbankar said her royal friend avoided her media coverage. She doesn't read the bad or the good because. She knows the metrics that you have for your own life cannot be based on a headline that somebody else wrote, she said. Oprah herself had previously praised Markle during an appearance on CBS this morning. The queen of daytime TV said that the American princess is not only everything that we perceive of her as being graceful and dynamic in holding that position, but she just has a wonderful, warm, giving, loving heart. Host Gail King, who is also a new friend of Markle and attended her baby shower in New York City last month, jumped in to add, she's very kind. She doesn't seem to buy into her bad press, though. Oprah then revealed that Markle does not read any of her press, before going on to speak about working with Prince Harry on a new docu-series for Apple about mental health. She actually does not read anything, which I find, you know remarkable, said Oprah. I think that's remarkable in spite of all that's going on, she doesn't read anything. Oprah said that she has been spending a great deal of time in London recently as she works with Prince Harry on their new series. Speaking about how it came together, she said, I asked the question, what do you think are the most important issues facing the world right now, and he said there are two. He said climate change and mental wellness, mental fitness and mental health. As you know, he's spoken about his own issues and what he went through after his mother died and how being able to talk about it has benefited him, Oprah said. So it's a passion of his and, at the end of the conversation, I said, oh, I'm going to be doing this thing with Apple. It's a big concern of mine too and I want to try to erase the stigma. And he said at the end of the conversation, if there's anything I can do to help. That is when Oprah said she pitched the idea of Harry coming on to help build the series, and the TV titan said he has been incredibly involved in the project ever since. He's co-creating and executive producing, she said. We've had several meetings, secret meetings in London. I've flown there with the crew, sitting in sessions, talking about the directions we're going to take. Our hope is it will have an impact on reducing the stigma and allow people to know that they're not alone and allowing people to speak up for it and identify with it.